Hi all, Loz D, Punch Out TV. Hope you're well out there. I've just uh, finished listening to an interview. Well, not an interview, but Talk Sports listen, uh, talking to Fabio Wardley um, over the phone. And Simon Jordan saying that he's warning Fabio Wardley about facing someone like the likes of Parker. Uh, Zile Zhang fighters like that, he's not ready for them. Um, I totally agree with Simon Jordan. It's not very often that I do, but I totally agree with him. I think, me personally, I think people are just jumping on this Fabio Wardley freight train too too, too early. I've got nothing against the kid. I can think the kid can fight. There's no two ways by it. He can bang. He's got no goddamn defence. I don't know how many times I have to stress this. He's got no defence. As soon as he fights anyone like Zhang, it's good night for Yenny. The speed what Zhang carries and the power that he carries, he's a, and, and Fabio Wardley's got no defence. He's opened up to a, a, another Joe Joyce. It's not me trying to be horrible. It's just me saying how it is. I've just been in the comment section. Some guys just said, uh, Parker hasn't really fought anyone and he's got no power. An easy win for Wardley. It, 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 what kind of boxing do these people watch? So Joseph Parker's just coming off a, a win against Zile Zhang, a bogeyman of the division, a big hard hit at Southpaw, and he's coming off a win over Deontay Wilder, former world champion who was sparking everyone out. But he's not been in with anyone. Yeah, he's been in with Anthony Joshua. Joseph Parker's got the be one of the best resumes out there. He's been in with everyone. Derek Chisora, Dillian White, Anthony Joshua. He's been in with them all. But he's not been in with anyone. And he's got 23 knockouts out of 35 wins. I tell you, man, some people are just damn right stupid. It's just... I just... Me, personally... And I'll say it again, and I see it coming. He beat Fraser Clark, right? Yes, Fraser's an Olympic bronze medalist. But Fraser was... You don't know how where Fraser could have gone because he didn't get out of the domestic level before being flattened. Right? It was For me, it was, a, it was a cracking punch. It was a lucky punch what caught him... The first one, what buzzed him, he never got over that first knockdown. He, he was scrambled. And yes, like I say, Fabio Wardley carries serious power. And I've just been watching Box Nation. run about him fighting Deontay Wilder if he'd come up. For me, I still think it's too early. He's not that level, even though Wilder's shot to pieces. If Wilder catches him with a straight right... He's getting put on planet Mars, and it's as simple as that. Because of stress, again, the guy's got no defence. He comes forward with his hands low, relying on his chin, swinging big hooks. He can't do that against someone like Wilder or someone like Joseph Parker. Yes, he's above British level. For me, he should be fighting the likes of... Someone like Martin Piccoli, because I know Piccoli is... Coming off a great win against Jared Anderson, but let's face it, Bacoli's not been in there with like the likes of Ajit Kabayel or 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 you know, Joseph Parker. For me, I just think he, yeah, he's better than domestic level. Someone like Michael Hunter, something like that. Or the, I just at the top of my head, I just can't think of fighters at the moment like that. But for me, He's not in that bracket with the likes of Kabayel, Zhang, Parker. He's not ready for them fighters yet. Um, but a lot of people seem to think now, oh, he's like this. I don't know. I don't know. For me, I just don't see. I think as soon as he steps up to the elite heavyweights, he gets put out. And it's all because... It's not because I don't want the guy to win. I'm not hating... The guy's got no goddamn defence. And you can't rely on that chin. We all fell for it with Joyce. Like my good man Michael Johnson from across the pond. Mike always said, as soon as he fights someone who can crack, he's gone. And look what happened to him when he fought Zhang. So, 
I don't know. Let me think. Let me know what you think. Is this all a hype train or people people punching above the waistline for Fabio Wardley? I've not heard Wardley say anything about that he wants them fights. You know what I mean? He does. He's just saying he's an interim fight, something like that. He's done with domestic level boxing, which I I agree with him. But he's not he's not ready for the likes of people like Wilder or Cabayel or 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 uh, Joseph Barker. Not in my eyes. Peace out. Let me know what you think. Peace out. Catch you soon.